Hi, I'm Peter Burris, and welcome to another CUBE Conversation from our studios here in Palo Alto, California. We've got another great conversation today. Specifically, we're going to talk about some of the trends and changes in data, data catalogs, which are emerging as a crucial technology to advance data-driven business uh, on a global scale. And to do that, we've got Alation here, specifically Stephanie McReynolds, who's the Vice President of Marketing at Alation. Stephanie, welcome back to theCUBE. Thank you, it's great to be here again. So Stephanie, before we get into this very important topic of the increasing, obviously, role or connection between knowing what your data is, knowing where it is, and business outcomes in a data-driven business world, let's talk about Alation. What's the update? Yeah, so we just celebrated yesterday, in fact, the sixth anniversary of the incorporation of the company. And upon you know, reflecting on some of the milestones that we've seen over those six years, one of the exciting developments is we went from um, initially about seven production implementations uh, a couple years after we were founded to now over 100 organizations that are using Alation. Um, and in those organizations over the last couple of years, we've seen many organizations move from hundreds of users to now thousands of users. Um, an organization like Scout24 has 70% of the company as self-service analytics users and a significant portion of those users now using Alation. Um, so we're seeing companies in Europe like Scout24 who's in Germany, um, companies like Pfizer in the United States, um, Munich Reinsurance in the financial services industry, um, also hit about 2,000 users of Alation. Um, and so it's uh, exciting to look at our origins with eBay as our very first customer, um, who's now up to about 3,000 users. Um, and then these uh, more recent companies adopt Alation, all of them now getting to a point where they really have a large population that's using a data catalog to drive self-service analytics and business outcomes out of those self-service analytics. So uh, 100 first-rate brands as users, ex international expansion, uh, sounds like Alation's really going places. What I want to do though, is I want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the outcomes that these companies are starting to achieve. Now, we have been on the record here at SiliconANGLE, the Cube Wikibon for quite some time, trying to draw a relationship between business, digital business, and the role that data plays. Mm -hmm. Digital business transformation in many respects is about how you evolve the role the data plays in your business to become more data driven. It's hard to do without knowing what your data is, where it is, and having some notion of how it's being used in a verified, trusted way. How are you seeing your companies start to tie the use of catalogs to some of these outcomes? What kind of outcomes are folks trying to achieve, first off? Yeah, I, I mean, you're right. Just basic table stakes for um, turning an organization in, into an organization that relies on data-driven decision-making rather than intuitive decision-making requires an inventory. And so that's table stakes for any catalog, and you see a, a number of vendors out there providing data inventories. But what I think is, is exciting with the customers that we work with is they are really undertaking transformative change, um, not just in the tooling and technology their company uses, but also in the organizational structure, in data literacy programs, and driving towards real business impact and real business outcomes. Um, an example of an Alation customer who's been talking recently about outcomes is Pfizer. Um, Pfizer was covered in a Wall Street Journal article recently, also uh, was speaking at Tableau Conference about how they're using a combination of the Alation data catalog with Tableau on the front end and a data science platform called Data IQ in an integrated analytics workbench that is helping them with new drug discovery. And so for populations of um, ill individuals who may have a rare form of heart disease, they're now able to use machine learning and algorithms that are informed by the Tata catalog to catch 1%, 2% of heart disease patients who have a slight deviation from the, the norm um, and can deliver drugs appropriately to that population. Um, another example of a business outcome would be with um, an insurance company, very different um, industry, right? But Munich Reinsurance is um, a huge global reinsurance company. So you think about hurricanes or the fires we had here in the United States, um, they actually support first-line insurers by, by reinsuring them. They're also um, founding new business units for new types of risks in the market. An example would be um, a factory that is um, fully controlled by robots. 
think about the risk of having that factory be taken over by hackers in the middle of the night where there's not a lot of employees on the floor. Munich Reinsurance has, is leveraging the data catalog as a collaboration platform between actuaries and um, individuals that are knowledgeable in the business to define what are the data products that could support uh, entirely new business units like for cyber crimes um, and investing in those business units uh, based on the innovation they're doing using the data catalog as a collaboration platform. Um, so these are two great examples of um, organizations that a couple years ago started with a data catalog but have driven so many more initiatives than just um, analyst productivity off of that implementation. Oh, those are great outcomes. Uh, one of the talking about robots in a factory, automated factory, one thing if they went haywire would be make for some interesting viral videos. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> but coming back, but, but the reason I say that is because in many respects, these practices, these relations with the outcomes, the outcomes are the real complex thing. Uh, you talked about uh, becoming more familiar with data, using data differently, right. becoming more data driven. That requires some pretty significant organizational change. And it seems to me, and I'm querying you on this, that the bringing together these users to share their stories about how to achieve these data-driven outcomes made more productive by catalogs and related technologies, uh, communities must start to be forming. Are you seeing communities form around uh, achieving these outcomes and uh, utilizing these types of technologies to accelerate the business change? So what's, what's really interesting at an organization like Munich Reinsurance or at Pfizer is there's an internal community that is using the data catalog as a collaboration platform and as kind of a, a social networking platform for the data nerds. So if I am a brand new user of, of self-service analytics, I may be a product manager who, who doesn't know how to write a SQL query yet, who doesn't know how to go and yet, wrangle may my own data. May never want to <laughs> May never to want to, <laughs> may never want to. Um, who may not know how to go and validate data for quality or consistency. Um, I can now go to the data catalog to find trusted resources of data assets, be that a dashboard or report that's already been written, or be that raw data that someone else has certified or just has used in the past. So we're seeing this social influence happen within companies that are using data catalogs where they can see from the data catalog pages who's used, who's validated this data set so that I now trust the data. And then what we've seen happen just within the last year and a half or so is these organizations, um, the sponsors of the data catalog, these organizations are starting to share best practices naturally with one another and saying, hey. Across organizations. Across organizations. And so there has been a demand um, for Alation to get out into the market and help catalyze the creation of communities across different organizations. Um, we kicked off uh, within the last two months um, a series of meetings that um, we've called Revelation, an opportunity. R-E-V-A-L? That's right, R-E-V-A-L-A-T-I-O-N. And the thinking behind the name is if you can start to share best practices in terms of how you create a data-driven culture across organizations, you can begin to really get breakthrough um, speed, mm -hmm. right, in making this transformation to a, to a data-driven organization. Um, and so I think what's interesting at uh, the Revelation events is folks are not talking just about how they're using the tool, how they're using technology. They're actually talking about how do we improve the data literacy of our organizations and what are the programs in place that leverage maybe the data catalog to do that. Um, and so they're starting to really think about how does um, not just the technical architecture and the tooling change in their organizations, but how do we close this gap between having access to data and trusting the data and getting folks who maybe aren't too familiar with the technical aspects of a data supply chain, how do we make them comfortable in moving away from intuitive decisions to data-driven decisions? Yeah, so the outcome really is not just the application of the tool, it's the new behaviors in the business that are associated with data driven. But to do that, you still have to uh, gain insight and understand what kinds of practices are uh, best used with the tool itself. So it's got to be right. a combination. But it, you know, Alation has been, if I, if I can uh, 
say this, Alation's been on this path for a while. Uh, not too long ago, you came in the on the Cube and you talked about Trust Check, which right. was uh, uh, an, an effort to establish conventions, some standards for how data could be verified and validated so that it would be easy to use, so that uh, someone could use the data and be certain that it is what it is without necessarily having to understand the data. Something could be very good, for example, for folks who are very focused on the outcome and not focused on the science of the data associated with That's it. That's right. So, is this part of, uh, is, is revelation, trust check, is this part of the journey that you're on to try to get people to uh, see this relationship between data-driven business and knowing more about your data? It, it absolutely is. It's a, it's a journey to get organizations to understand what is the power that they have internally uh, within this data and close the gap, on, which is in part organizational but in part for individuals' users, psychological, and mm -hmm. how do you get to a trusted decision. And so you'll continue to see us invest in features like Trust Check um, that highlight how technology can make recommendations can help validate and verify what the experts in the organization know and propagate that more widely. And then you'll also see us um, share more best practices about how do you start to, to create the right organizational change and how do you start to impact the psychology of fear that we've had in many organizations around data. And I, I think that's where Elation is uniquely placed because we have the, the highest number of data catalog customers of any other vendor I'm familiar with in the space, and we also have a unique design approach. Uh, when we go into organizations and talk about adopting a data catalog, it's as much about how do our products support psychological comfort with data, as well as how do they support the actual you know, workflow um, of getting that query completed or getting that data certified. And so I, I think we've taken a bit of a unique approach to the market from the beginning where we're really designing holistically for not just how do you execute a software program that supports workflow, but how do you start to think about how the data consumer actually adopts that best practices and starts to think differently about how they use data in a more confident way. Well, I think the first time that you and I talked in the queue was probably uh, 2016, and I was struck by the degree to which elation as a tool and the language that you used in describing it was clearly designed for human beings to right. use it as opposed to for data. And I think that that is a unique proposition because at the end of the day, the goal here is to have people use data to achieve outcomes and not just to do a better job of managing data. And that doesn't mean that, that I mean, we, we have a ton of machine learning and, sure. and AI in the product, so that doesn't take away from the power of those algorithms um, to speed up human work and human behavior. Um, but we really believe that um, the algorithms need to complement human input and that there should be a human in the loop with decision making, and that the algorithms should then propagate the knowledge that we have of experts in the organization, and that's where you get the real breakthrough business outcomes, when you can take input from a lot of different human perspectives and optimize an outcome by using technology as a support structure. To help in a way that's familiar and natural and easy for others in your organization that's right. that to seems, adopt. You know, if you, if you go back it to when sense. we were all introduced to Google, it was a little bit of an odd thing to go ask Google questions and get results back from the internet. We see data evolving in the, in the same way. You know, Alation is the Google for your data in your organization. At some point, it'll be very natural to say, hey, Alation, you know, uh, what happened with revenue last month? and Alation will come back with a, a, an answer. So I, I think that, that that future is in sight where it's very easy to use data. You know you're getting trusted responses. You know that they're accurate because there's either a certification program in place that the technology supports, or there's a social network that's bubbling this information up to the top that is a trusted source. And so um, that evolution in, in data needs to happen for our organizations to, to broadly see analytic-driven outcomes, just as in our consumer or personal life, Google had to um, show us a new way to evolving, um, you know, to kind of the answer machine on the, on the internet. Excellent, Stephanie McReynolds, Vice President of Marketing, Elation, talking to us about building communities to 
become more of a, to achieve data-driven outcomes utilizing data catalog technology. Stephanie, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for inviting me. And once again, I'm Peter Burris, and this has been another CUBE Conversation. Until next time.